We like to know when you're uh, not drinking Bordeaux, what are some of your favorite wines that you'd like to drink? Well, uh, in terms of white wines, uh, I, I love the Alsace. I, I drink a lot of Alsace, they are very pleasant. Of course, in a serious meal, I would drink a, a, a great uh, white burgundy. And in terms of red, I drink mostly Bordeaux. I used to drink a little bit of burgundy, but now mostly Bordeaux. When I'm in California, I drink California. I can say. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not prejudiced against California, but uh, it's two separate worlds, and uh, I never serve Dominus at my table. This, so. <laughs> this question, you know, the Bordeaux people don't always appreciate those foreign ventures. So uh, it's Friday afternoon. You're going to have a lunch with some friends. Uh, no business, just uh, just a lunch with friends. Where would you like to go have lunch? Pick your favorite place. Well, uh, uh, I'm very lucky to have a chef at home, you know. So, uh, <laughs> so usually I stay at home because I drink a lot. Uh, I always drink champagne to begin the meal. Mm. Always, always. You know, because I taste so many wines in the morning. For me, champagne. I would say it cleans my tube, if I dare to say. I love champagne, so we drink champagne every every meal with my wife. She loves champagne as well. And then, uh, if I have to, to to go out, we have a top restaurant at Plaisance here in Saint Emilion. But I, I go out much more in Napa Valley, where uh, being in Yonville, I have such a choice of of great restaurants. Yeah. And my favorite restaurant is Adoc. Oh, oh yes. I yes. love dinners at Adoc because I have. A, a condo nearby, I walk to a dog, and then the chef is, 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 a, is a good friend. Uh, and I, I love the, for $52, I cannot get the best, <laughs> best food in California, I think. That's, that's, that's my preferred restaurant. Wow. I have lunch at Bouchon, usually on the terrace, yes. in the sun, with a very light lunch, and a glass sometimes of uh, Alsace, uh, and then dinner at uh, at Adobe. That's my schedule when I'm in California. Yeah, <laughs> good schedule. <laughs> very simple, but, yeah. but uh, very comfortable. I like that. Uh, and just one more question. Uh, it's a, a little bit of a political question, but we always like to get your opinion. 2009 or 2010, your favorite? Ha! You know, um, so far, theoretically, I prefer 09. In the same way that younger, I prefer the, uh, 89 to 90. Those I find more distinction, a little more character, uh, less uh, um, openness uh, to, to the 09 as well, like the 89. But finally, I have been testing already side by side, and it depends on the wines. Some wines are better in 09, some wines are better in 10. And it's kind of unpredictable. Even in our own stable, I realize that some tens are better. They are not bottled yet, so we just make the final final blend uh, back in the, in the vats. We are doing that uh, this April, before bottling probably in June or July. Uh, it, it will be a, a, a tough competition and a fantastic competition for us in, in the coming years. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I would say we'll be talking about. probably, you know, if I had to pick Promolo 9, Saint Emilion 10, but some people will say the reverse. Yeah. So. I think I think I'm in the reverse. So I like the, the reverse. Yeah, yeah, I like the yeah. Promolo in 2010. Fantastic yeah. wines. Thank you so much. Oh, for my pleasure. Always. All right, take Thank care. you. Thank you.